Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with mcfitmethod.com and this is your McFit 365 workout of the day. Now today's workout is a 15 minute AMRAP and AMRAP stands for as many rounds or as many reps in, as possible in 15 minutes. So you're gonna set a clock for 15 minutes and see how many reps you can get of the following movements. Now this starts off with 20 kettlebell swings. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. Now prescribed weight for this is a 53 pound kettlebell for men or 35 for women but as always, make sure you are scaling the weight appropriately for you. So I'm gonna head back here, I'm gonna grab a 53 pound kettlebell, and we're gonna start off with 20 kettlebell swings. Now on these kettlebell swings, you wanna have the kettlebell down on the ground between your legs, and you wanna be in a nice squat stance, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. On these kettlebell swings, we're really utilizing the power of our lower body to generate the momentum, and with our hips opening up at the top, to generate the momentum and the power to bring that kettlebell up overhead. Now on these kettlebell swings, we are we're going to be doing full American swings today, which means that we're going to go fully upright overhead. The bottom of that kettlebell should essentially be pointing towards the sky or the ceiling. As an alternative, you can do a Russian swings, which just brings the kettlebell right in front, just above eye level. But like I said, we're going to be doing 20 kettlebell swings today, and they're going to be American, so all the way up overhead. Now, with the kettlebell swings, like I said, you're going to be utilizing the power of your hips. So you're going to send, initiate the first swing by sending that kettlebell back between your legs, keeping a you know, engaging those hamstrings in the back, nice flat back, head and neck and neutral spine, and you're gonna to start to swing forward, opening up those hips at the top. That's gonna to generate the power that's gonna bring that kettlebell up overhead. Now you're keeping your arms straight the entire time. We're not pulling or bending at the elbows. So we're gonna bring it all the way up overhead, and then you're gonna swing it back down between the legs and initiate the next one. So I'm gonna go bend down here, loading up those hamstrings, keeping that chest up, head and neck and neutral spine. I'm gonna send the kettlebell back between my legs and pop it up to a full swing and then back down. But you notice I'm popping my hips, opening up my hips at the top, bending my knees slightly, my knees are tracking out over the toes, and I'm using the power of my hips to then bring that kettlebell all the way up. Once you've completed 20 of those kettlebell swings, we're now moving on to the next movement, which is going to be 10 kettlebell goblet squats. So once again, you're gonna be using the same kettlebell. We're gonna be in a nice squat stance again, a little bit, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes tracking out, or toes point out slowly, and knees are gonna be tracking out over the toes. So when you go into that squat stance, you're gonna initiate by setting those hips back slightly, keeping the weight back in your heels, keeping that chest up. You're gonna squat all the way down till your hips go down below knee level, making sure that those knees are tracking out over your toes, which means we're not caving in and squatting this way. Opening up those knees, making sure they're tracking out over those toes. Now we're gonna have the kettlebell up here in the front rack position. So it's gonna be just below your chin, and you're gonna be holding it in this front rack position, which is gonna to wanna to pull you forward. So make sure you are sending all your weight back in those heels to keep that chest up, so you're not moving forward with the weight of that kettlebell. Now there's a couple different ways you can actually hold the kettlebell. You can hold it by the handles. However, that might get a little uh, too much on your grip. Better way to do it is to actually put one hand inside of the kettlebell, right around the handle, and then support with the other hand. So I'll show you that now. Bring this kettlebell up. So now I have one hand inside the kettlebell here, and then I have the other one on this hand supporting. Now I'm gonna have it in the front rack position, chest up, and those knees are gonna track out over those toes, I'm gonna send those hips back, and we'll go down into a squat position till my hips go down below knee level, and then keeping those knees, like I said, tracking out over those toes, standing fully upright, opening up those hips at the top. So 10 of these goblet squats, keeping that chest up the entire time. Once you've completed 10 of these, you're gonna set the kettlebell down, and now what we're gonna do is five burpees. But what we're gonna do is burpees laterally over the kettlebell. So you're gonna start on one side of the kettlebell. Now a burpee is you're gonna go down into a plank position. You're then gonna go down into a push-up position. Touch, uh, chest touches the ground. You're gonna press out of that, bring your feet back in, and then you're gonna jump laterally over the kettlebell and do another one on the other side. So down, kick the legs out, push up, bring the legs back in, jump laterally over the kettlebell, and then you're gonna do another burpee. We're gonna do a total of five of these burpees over that kettlebell. Once you've completed five of those, you're gonna move the kettlebell off the side here. We're gonna move into the jump rope portion of this. And for this round, we're gonna do 30 double unders. That's two rotations of the rope for every jump, or there's an option of doing 60 single jumps. So going back here, grabbing my RX Smart Gear jump rope, and we're gonna do 30 double unders, which is two rotations of the jump rope for every jump. So you see I've got two rotations for every jump, keeping those elbows in close to my sides, and I'm rotating that rope 
just with my wrist, guys. We don't want to have a lot of arm movement here at the shoulder joint or the elbow. You'll notice I'm bounding up and down on the balls of my feet, and I'm really just rotating that rope with my wrists. Keeping that chest up, and I'm not kicking my feet forward or bending them backwards. Like I said, it's more of a bounding up and down motion. Now, you could do 30 double unders, which is that two rotations of the rope, or as an option, you could just do twice as many of your basic single jumps. So just one rotation of that rope, but same form as before, keeping those feet together, and you just can do 60 of those. Now, if you choose not to do the jump rope, there is another option. So if you choose not to do the jump rope, instead, you could do 60 jumping jacks. So basically, your, your simple basic jumping jack here, hands touch above your head, and then either touch down by your hips or even behind your back. So you can do 60 jumping jacks as an option to either those 30 double unders or those 60 singles if for some reason you choose not to do the jump rope on this. Once you've completed one of those movements, that completes one round of this workout. And like I said guys, it's going to be 15 minutes AMRAP of this workout. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go back up to the top and you're going to keep repeating the movements of the 20 kettlebell swings, the 10 goblet squats, the 5 burpees laterally over the kettlebell, and then you're going to finish with the 30 double unders, the 60 single unders or these 60 jumping jacks. And you're just going to keep repeating that sequence of all of those movements for 15 minutes. So that is the Mick Fit 365 workout of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Good luck. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the next workout.